What's up guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video and in today's video we have some exciting mods for the AI. Well technically mods, but it's not plural, it's just singular. But oh actually it might be plural. I might actually have something upstairs for the AI as well. Hmm. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. I'm just super, super, super excited to install that Aza steering wheel. We've been waiting so long for this wheel, but it's been custom made literally to the dream spec bone. I have to show you guys the steering wheel. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I've been just waiting for this steering wheel for so long and I can't wait to put in the AI. This car, I love it absolutely so much. It is the perfect daily driver at the same time, just being so exotic. It's just like an all-around well car. It's, it's cheap fuel economy, cheap maintenance, like everything about this car is honestly one of the probably the best cars you can get for the money. And I'm talking about used money. I'm not going to be talking right now about why this car is so amazing, but the exterior is getting a lot of love. We have some new wheels, a bunch of carbon fiber. We're going to be getting a bunch more carbon fiber, and we're going to have to eventually wrap the car. Like, let's be realistic, and maybe something to do with the suspension, because I want it a little bit lower, or maybe we just slam it. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But in terms of the interior, I didn't really want to change anything, because let me show you guys something. If you guys look at the interior, this interior has a Terra World package. If you got out of, if you guys don't know what this uh, package is, it's basically the brown interior and the blue seat belts is basically what it is. So this has like the most upgraded package from BMW, so I didn't really want to change anything because it really changes from the package that BMW gave this car. I didn't really want to change the seat belts because they just look good. They match with the lights and everything and they have like the blue accents on the car. Maybe I will change them eventually if we change the accent color. We'll have to see, but I'm definitely going to be keeping these. I'm never going to be getting rid of these seat belts. I'll store them if something if we want to change the color one day, but as for everything else in the interior, I don't really want to change much. We did change the infotainment, so now we have Apple TV from Keys Motorsports. If you guys want Apple TV for your i8, link down below. Make sure to use my code NOR5, by the way, guys, to get 5% off of that. And as for the steering wheel, this is something I've always hated. Hated, guys. So the i8 steering wheels have this line that goes all around the steering wheel. It just looks super, it, it's too, like, it just doesn't look it. I, I, it looks tacky. I don't like it. I think the theme they're trying to go with, because these are LEDs, they kind of wanted to make the steering wheel look like it's an LED. But I really, really, really don't like that. So we're going to go ahead and swap out the steering wheel. We did go with the black steering wheel, so the airbag is not going to match for now. But I'm probably going to end up getting a black airbag pretty soon to match it. So as for now, the steering wheel isn't going to match the airbag. It might actually still look good, because the rest of the dash, the rest of the interior is brown. We'll have to see when we put everything together, but... We might have to end up getting a black airbag. But yeah, guys, as of the interior, there's nothing actually physically different. So, other than the beautiful, you know, nat natty air fresheners. <laughs> but anyway, other than that, it also needs a really good car wash. I'm going to have to get a car wash later because it hasn't been washed in a little bit. It's just been, I've been driving this thing. I think I put over 2,000 miles in the last three weeks, which is insane. I've been driving it so much because I just love this car. So yeah, before we actually install this steering wheel, I do want to announce one crazy new thing. The last couple of days, that's why I haven't uploaded in the last, like, couple of days. I've been kind of like, kind of like every two or three days upload, not every other day, which is what I normally do. Um, unfortunately, the reason why I haven't been uploading every other day is because, well, actually, fortunately, God bless. I mean, God bless. Thank God for everything. Thank you guys for everything. I'm officially moving into my own place. I need more room to work on merch. I need more room to just do my own things, store my own car parts, have a car in the garage, have a car in the driveway, and not worry about too many things. So we did find a new place that we're renting for the time being a year's, I think we're, we're, we're going to be staying there for about a year. I'm saying we, because hopefully me my fiance eventually one day she'll be moving in with me but for now it's just gonna be me let me know down below guys do you guys want to see the new house if you guys want to get this video to let's just say 2,000 likes I'm not even gonna put anything too crazy 2,000 likes guys and I will show you guys the new home the new place as for now I'm keeping it off video because I don't know if you guys want to see that stuff and it's probably smarter to keep it low-key but if you guys really want to see it you guys will be part involved also in my private life the stuff that you haven't seen the stuff that you don't see on camera and you guys want a full home tour show you guys the new place the backyard the goals for the home. Make sure to smash that like button. 2,000 likes. I'll show you guys hopefully that in the next video if this video gets to 2,000 likes. I'm just super, super, super excited for it. Thank you guys so much again for the constant support. Having my own place, even though it's rented, one day we'll buy our own place. Even though it's rented, it's not my place, but it's gonna feel like my place because we can just do whatever we want, whenever we want, other than the HOA laws. It has HOA, unfortunately, so they're gonna be up my butt about that. If you guys don't know what HOA is, it's basically like the whole street's really heavily like, like regulated, so if we like do anything outside, it might get in trouble for it. I don't want to get into too much detail. 2,000 likes, guys, and I'll give you guys a little details. 
anywho, anywho, let's go ahead and show you guys the new Azza wheel we got from Azza because that is the most exciting thing about this car. And uh, it's not just some normal, uh, you know, steering wheel because it's Azza, you guys know. It's all right, all right, <laughs> guys, I need to stop talking and I need to show you guys the new wheel from Azza Auto Wheels. So shout out to them again for making some of the best wheels I've ever seen in my entire life. Like they make literally any steering wheel for any car. So if you guys want a custom steering wheel, literally A to Z, which they basically, which that basically means when they say you can customize your wheel from A to Z, literally anything guys, anything you guys want, they will do. I told them I wanted something forged. So we went ahead and got a forged carbon fiber steering wheel and they surprised me with something more. I just said forged carbon fiber. That's all I said and uh, look what they did exactly. But a bang so this was wrapped a whole lot more But um, basically I had to unwrap it because I had to look at it the other day look at the forged carbon all around the steering wheel We got the black beautiful leather if you guys check out the bottom right here flat bottom forged carbon And if you check out the top, this was the surprise what i8 have you guys seen that actually comes with paddle shifting lights oh my god that's gonna look so crazy i haven't even taken this thing out yet so i mean i just pretty much unwrapped it put it back in here because i don't really want to damage it but again huge special shout out to oz if you guys want custom wheels make sure to check them out the link's going to be down below first link i've had one of their wheels on the 435 the f10 and i believe yeah the m3 some of my biggest builds have had their wheels mainly because it's just it's just worth getting a wheel for a nice build for those of you guys who don't realize that the mo that the thing you're touching the most when you're enjoying your car is the steering wheel so having a nice steering wheel really changes the whole feel of the car if you have the ugliest car in the world and it's just a project car but you guys have the nicest steering wheel and the nicest shift knob you guys will literally feel like you're driving a million bucks it's literally how it is believe me or not just believe me it makes all of a difference i know vehicular diy i actually was watching his video just randomly one day and he actually mentioned me in his video how he actually got an i think an Azza wheel or some kind of custom wheel or m sport wheel he upgraded the wheel and he literally felt like the, a whole new car it literally makes that big of a difference guys and you know i'm gonna have to try to figure out how to disconnect the battery on this car because uh i don't want to put in the steering wheel and blow up the airbag and um but then there's a high voltage battery uh let's go ahead and figure out how to open up this hood Disconnected the battery. I just, how does this thing so have power? Guys, I just disconnected the positive and negative terminal. <laughs> like, hold up. <laughs> I disconnected the positive and negative. Um, and I'm just trying to understand how the heck does this thing still have power? This is a little weird, guys. This car has complete power. <laughs> Um, hmm, give me a minute to figure this out real quick. All right guys, so according to a video, we gotta disconnect this guy. So this is the high voltage battery thing right here, this little green thing, I don't know if you guys can see it. So to disconnect this first, so he says you just basically separate into two separate pieces. Like, I need to uh, look at a, I need to figure out how to disconnect. All right guys, so this is apparently how you disconnect the high voltage battery. So just in case you guys are wondering how to do that, make sure you do that and uh, disconnect the positive and negative, and then you are good to go to install the airbag and everything. <laughs> Disconnect in the front. We just have to release the airbag. It's just two clips on each side, like every other BMW. If you guys have never done an airbag on a BMW before, I throw up a diagram like right here. It's just like two tabs on both sides. You push them in. They're fairly simple to get after the first time. The first time you're like, what am I trying to hit? As soon as you feel some resistance, you just push on that resistance. And then, uh, as you guys can see, hold up. I should be able to get this the first time because I'm pretty good at this from what I recall. <laughs> hold up. There we go. All right, so this side is disconnected. And now this side is disconnected. Now the airbag is disconnected. There should only be one thing holding it on, which is up here. Disconnect that. Bada bing, bada bang, this whole airbag comes up. There's basically just one tap at the top of this orange thing right there. You disconnect that, put that off to the side. And uh, to remove this whole steering wheel, it should be fairly easy. From what I remember, you just disconnect this one cable right here and then you remove the giant nut. So once you remove the giant nut, this whole thing should just come out. We're gonna exchange the paddles, put the new steering wheel on. And since this one has LEDs, we have to do a little bit of wiring, nothing crazy. So just a 16 millimeter nut. Ah, just like that, disconnect that bad boy. And then we just take out the bolt. Fairly simple, honestly. Removing airbags and steering wheels are very easy. Just on the i8, you have two batteries to disconnect. That's like the only other step. But once you do that, this whole thing should just come out, theoretically. If you guys didn't know, Azza also takes your core steering wheel, so it's always important to send back your core. But yeah, at this point, we just have to take out the paddles. I believe it's just one screw on this side right down there, and then one screw over here. I think this is like, yeah, it's right there. 
So let's remove those two screws, take out the paddles, put it onto the new wheel, and then we can mount the new wheel inside and figure out the wiring situation. But that's it, honestly. Installing steering wheels are very easy, guys, especially, especially when they don't have LED lights. But since they have LED lights, I'll show you guys the full process. It's not too difficult. It's actually fairly easy, but it is gonna take a little bit longer. This wheel at this point is ready to get sent back to Azza. I don't need this wheel anymore, so I'm gonna move that off to the side. And here's the new wheel, so just go ahead and install the paddles exact same way, just put the cable through, connect it, and then uh, bolt in the bolt real quick. At this point, we can go ahead and put the steering wheel back in. We got the two paddles in here. I'm definitely gonna have to upgrade these ones to some carbon fiber extended ones. I'm gonna try to find some forged carbon fiber paddles, uh, but yeah. This steering wheel looks so good. Let's go ahead and put it in. Now that you have the steering wheel installed, uh, I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, you probably don't even need this blue wire considering this is a BMW. So this blue wire, it actually tells you on the cable itself, you don't need to use this wire unless you have, like, unless you don't have a ground, then you need to use this wire. So this red cable is just connect to a 12 volt or a horn cable. So we're gonna go ahead and connect it to the red cable on this right here. So we're gonna go ahead and tap into that red cable. So red to red, that's all there, blue, we're not even using it. And then the black one, it actually already has kind of like this ground thing to it. So we're gonna connect it to up here where that screw is, you see that ground? So we're just gonna take out that screw and put that in there, screw it in, good to go. So only tapping we're gonna do is for this red wire right here. All right, so looking in here, we have the red to red right there. So that's perfect, that's tapped in. We're just gonna go ahead and just tape around that. Uh, the black ground is over here and the blue wire, we just tucked it back there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. Blue is tucked back here, black is connected to that ground screw right there and the red is tapped into there. So let's go ahead and just tape that up, put that back in, put in the airbag and we're good to go. And then the only thing we have to do is just plug in something to the OBD and then literally we are done, that's it. The steering wheel is looking so good, guys. So yeah, honestly, this brown airbag, it actually complements the interior very well. I just don't know how I feel about this blue. I might have to get rid of it, but it does match with the blue stitching. Let me know what you guys think about that, but oh my God. It is looking absolutely amazing. At this point, we just have to install the modules so we can actually use the LED. Uh, our steering wheel is good to go, but if you want to use the LED shift lights, uh, we need to go ahead and just do this as well. So this is all that you get in the packaging. It looks very complicated, but believe it or not, it's actually very, very, very easy. Um, this, you just plug into your OBD, and that's it. And this is your new OBD. So if you guys have to plug in any scan tools, you just plug it into that. And uh, this is gonna just plug into your OBD, so that's quick and easy. And this, you just tuck it all away. That's it, that's all she wrote. So <laughs> I'll show you guys how this looks when it's fully installed. One day. So guys, once you have everything back up there and you just have the cable pretty much sticking out, so uh, at this point, this looks kind of ugly. So we don't want that just sticking out just like that. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just tape around here, make sure this is all black tie. We're gonna use some electrical tape, just tape around and make it look good. And then uh, as for this, you might have to just zip tie it up here for now. As you're up here, as long as all that's blacked out, you're not gonna be able to tell. And if you need to use OBD, you just plug it in from this angle right here and you're perfectly fine. <laughs> now that everything is installed, oh my God, there's so much glare. Uh, I'm gonna have to show you this outside, but oh my God, it's so so beautiful. We're going to turn on, see if the shift lights turn on. Is there shift lights? <laughs> okay, clearly I did not do something right here. Wait, 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 never mind. It looks like it's working, guys. Hold up. I just had to help, I just held these two buttons on both sides, and it looks like it needs to pair up with the module down there. So we're going to connect it real quick. <laughs> oh my god, guys, this thing's feeling a whole lot more exotic now. I'm telling you guys, I hated that other steering wheel, and this one is just plain gorgeous. I need to shake. Oh my god, I love the shift lights. I absolutely just love this steering wheel. Azza always makes the best steering wheel, guys. I absolutely love this combination as well with the forged carbon fiber on the top, the leather on the sides to where it never wears out. Woo, buddy! Oh my God, I love it, dude, I love it. Oh my God, look at the RPMs on the top too. Don't worry guys, I let the car warm up, so do not worry, I'm not just redlining it as soon as I get out of my house. I let the car warm up as I was cleaning up the garage, but oh my God guys, what a beautiful, beautiful steering wheel. It literally makes the whole car, the whole interior. Now I need some carbon fiber trim in here, forged carbon fiber to match the steering wheel, but guys, this thing is thick. Oh my God. We are heading out right now to hopefully get a car wash. I haven't washed this car in nearly like 
oh my god i don't even know how long probably like two weeks and i put about two thousand miles in that two weeks so you can imagine how much this car has been through i've been getting things situated in the other house i've been literally just working back and forth whenever i can work on a video i work at my house and then i'm pretty much heading out and i'm working on the other house I'm trying to get things situated before i move in but yeah it needs appliances couches beds furniture uh mattresses you guys can imagine it, it, it the money adds up real quick and i've been saving off little by little every single month uh towards this for the past so i've been i it's not like a, a last minute thing you guys know from the beginning of the year i told you all something big is happening this december and i cannot wait to show you guys the new place the new headquarters basically we're gonna be doing a lot of filming in there and at the same time there's gonna be i'm hoping we can turn the garage into some kind of like photo sh like a, some kind of photo room something really 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 cool and presentable and then at the same time since the garage is actually very tiny we're gonna have to get a new shop so uh that's also gonna be some news hopefully in the near future but oh my god guys even this brown steering wheel i'm not even upset with it because it matches the rest of the dash it's just this blue ring might have to go but uh, other than that oh my god guys i swear to god i feel like i jumped from an i8 to a lamborghini like <laughs> it's not even i mean not a ferrari lamborghini doesn't have shift lights but ferraris they come with shift lights and it just oh my god it feels so nice what should we name the i8 guys we just got to the car wash but what should we name her honestly i'm oh my god oh my god i love Oz. i love you guys so much these steering wheels are beautiful we need to find a new name for the i8 guys because i can't keep calling it i8 we had copper we had copper jr we had all those little you know ocean names all that good stuff but we need a name for the i8 100% cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and take this on a little joy ride. Let me know if I should do some GoPro footage from here on out on the i8 because now it has a beautiful, beautiful steering wheel by my boys at Ozzy. I'm heading over to the new house to get a few more things situated. Again, let me know, guys, if you guys want to see the new place. Smash that like button, 2,000 likes, and I will involve you guys in my personal life as well and maybe even start uh, showing you guys a lot more of that if you guys want to see that. I won't be taking over the channel with personal life stuff. It'll just basically be like car stuff like right now and then after car stuff, I'll just show you guys my personal life and just do a little bit of home chilling and vlogging and stuff like that if you guys want to watch that stuff make sure to smash that like button without further ado guys shout out to Aza. i love you guys so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out